definitely leave from What's good? It's your guy Hitch. Had to throw in the Yankees gear because it's all about the greatest Yankee player of all time. And I'm not here to debate y'all because I don't watch baseball. Derek Jeter is just, in my eyes, the greatest Yankee of all time. So it's all about Mr. November, the captain. Now, these retro one high OGs were the release was crazy they they released them initially through eastbay.com and um select champs stores throughout the u.s back on november 18th and personally i'm kind of over jordan's as a whole so i wasn't checking for them and uh then they released them again on the 13th of december and at that point I had my eye on them because they had 3M. I like 3M, but I'm an idiot. So on the release day, I was brushing my teeth and completely forgot. And then at 10.02, I opened the app up and my size were all swelled out. So I ended up going to the mall uh, that day and I really went to go try on some KD, uh, Kobe 80 mids. And I didn't I couldn't find them, but Champs actually had these in store. So I got real lucky. But... These joints, hard. And like I said, I'm over J's, but I don't have any Jeter kicks in my collection, and I feel like I should. And they've given they've given us Jeter kicks before. So this summer they gave us uh, the the Jeter ones mid. It was a navy blue and white. Passed on them. Uh, really wasn't feeling them. And then four years ago. Um, three years ago, they gave us a high Jeter colorway, and it was navy blue and white, but it had pinstripes on the heel, and I thought it was a decent shoe, but I really just started liking ones about a year and a half ago, so this is my cup of tea. Nice, classic, clean-looking colorway, black and white. Again, this Jeter colorway is just black and white, unlike the previous two versions, and I'm cool with it. I would have preferred maybe navy because I have the top three ones and it has black and white in it, but I'm fine with this. Cool with the switch up. Now, the reason I've stayed away from Jays, aside from them being just not the most comfortable sneakers, is that two years ago, they said they were going to continue to increase the price, but we were going to get remastered Jays with high quality materials. Does that look high quality to you? This is the regular leather they have been putting on our Jordans for years. The breads, or I think the band ones. The band ones, the shattered backboards, those got the remastered leather. It was soft, it was tumbled. This ain't it. So $160 and you're not getting higher quality material. That's why I'm staying away from Jay's. Now, I got these and I wanted them because they're dedicated to Jeter. And I feel like every sneaker collection should have, you know, some kind of nostalgic or some kind of... If you if you love an athlete, man, show love to him. That's just what I'm trying to do, getting this Jeter colorway. Now, speaking of those materials, laces. They give you some nice plastic tips on the black. You know, nice contrast or whatever. But then you look in the bag, just another cheap pair. That being said, on each one of your insoles, you get the Respect logo with the Jumpman in there. Pretty nice touch. Um, and then on the shoe, it says Discipline, Focus, and Passion. And then the whole thing, the whole, everywhere that is black is 3M. Except for, of course, the wings. Oh, my God. Fam. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is crazy. 
This is crazy. I thought it just said passion, focus, and discipline in the 3M, but it says respect, fearless. Wow. I'm I'm really blown away. Like I saw some of the pictures after they dropped and lead. Yeah, these are hard. These may actually be my best pickup of this year, to be honest with you. And that's saying a lot, being that I'm not really a fan of Jays no more. Holy crap. Mm, 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 mm. Smoking and we drinking, don't need checks up for my head. My, 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 my,